Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craft Tastic, and I'm going to share my Wednesday's haul with you. Um, I have a variety of items, so let's just go ahead and get started. Um, this is something that I ordered from an Etsy shop, um, Lily and Lola Company, or Lily and Lola Co. And I got, of course, the clip. I had this in my pouch for a while to come on and share, and so anyway. And these were a couple of um, freebie stickers that came with it, I guess. It's like her business card style freebie. Then it's lashes. I think this is vinyl. I thought that was really nice to include as a freebie. And then I think I also got a black clip like this. And I'm not sure what I did with it, but I think she also included a black one. I think it might have dropped down in the pouch. I'll have to look for it. And then this was what my order was. It's these um, bows. I know they're odd colors, but you know I wanted to have a variety of colors. So this green. I don't know. I really like the green and the black. I think that's really really pretty together. Let's see, Let's see, you don't have to. Focus on my ratty fingernails. Just cute. And then, you know, you just put them, say this is your planner. Yeah. Fingers not working. You can just hook these on the page like that. And so it dangles like that. Okay. And then, the, well, I mean, you can kind of see it here too. But that's how they. That's how it goes in your planner. You can put it on the top or the bottom. However, they look cuter on the bottom pages. Oops. So anyway, that's what I got from Lily and Lola and Co. Um, and these are like a miniature version of the wide paper clips and I think these are really nice and they seem more sturdy too they t seem like they hold a little better and I may be offering those eventually in my shop I don't know if you all think I should let me know not with the the bows and all that on there I'm, I'm not gonna do that <laughs> um, but just the clips okay moving right along so I also have my stickers uh, from one of my JD in Brooklyn orders. This is, I think it was from one of those spring collab deals where there were a bunch of sticker shops because I got um, several freebies included. I guess these were from other shops participating in the sale, um, but I just shopped at JD in Brooklyn. So. Anyway, so I got those. These are all sticker sheets, little mini stickers. And then my order was the May. I just love these, the Mayflowers and the April showers. And I'm so glad that I got these just in time to use for April. And she sent me some extras. So I got some extras. I just, these stickers are, they're super adorable. Look at that. She's got the big afro in her rain gear for April showers. And then she's got her little ruffly skirt and flowers for May flowers. They are so cute. At least I think so. So, I thought this was a great idea. I've always thought of designing something for May, um, for April showers, May flowers, um, in like a lion, out like a lamb, stuff like that. Um, there was another one. Oh, what little girls are made of and what little boys are made of. I just think those are like some cute little things to do sticker themes around. Anyway, so that is what I got from JD in Brooklyn. And you should go and check out uh, the shop at JD in Brooklyn. It's jdinbrooklyn.com. I'll leave a link below. And be sure to use my code, which is Rochelle20, for a limited time 
for 20% off your order. So go check out jdnbrooklyn.com. Okay, and then here is my order from Natasha Devon. I think that I'm pronouncing that right. It's natashadevon.com. But this is how it came. There's her logo and website address. I've already opened it. And this is my order. Oh, here's her card. This was a little thank you. And so these are some die cuts that I ordered. They're not glossy glossy, but they have like a glossy finish to them. Pretty sturdy. Um, these are nice enough that I don't think I need to laminate them. So that one's planning my best life. This one is giving you life. This was, I saw this on somebody else's Instagram and found out where she got it from. And I just, this one is just beautiful. I love this die cut. So that was what brought this shop to my attention. And then this one as well. These are really nice die cuts. So I got those. Okay, and then this last one for now is from Simply Me Kish. I've ordered from her before and I'm kind of hoarding her stickers, which I know is a bad thing because it doesn't help the shop. But I will use them very soon, hopefully. I just like to try to save. I don't order from sticker shops often, so I try to save the kits that I do get for really special spreads or special weeks when there's something important going on. So, these stickers are for Hobonichi Mega Weeks. So, this is a card that was included. It's her business card kind of thing. <laughs> okay, I like that. It's cute. Um, and these are the stickers. So they're just like uh, small little kits for the Hobonichi Weeks. So this one is like a pink. Shades of pink. Okay, I got the functional and the actual kit for this one. This is the functional, I think, and this is the actual kit. Yes, so this is the kit, which is the same as this. This is the functional sticker, so it has like the little strips, the trackers, the headers, the weekend this week, um, mom life, full box. And this one is called Love You to the Moon and Back. This one is called Rose Bow. So these are from Simply Me Kish. I'll link her information below as well. Let's keep all her items together. I always really enjoy the extras that she sends and the quality of the extras. It's really nice. I don't know. I'm kind of like into paper, so paper, I notice paper quality. I know not everyone does, and I just assume that everyone does, which is why I don't do a lot of things because I know I can't match the paper quality. But, uh, yeah, I really enjoy her paper quality. So, that's it for the kits for now. I think I have one more coming. And if I can get it before I edit this video, I will include it. Let's move on to the other items. So, I was asked by Arteza Art Supplies to review a few more of their products. So, I'm including those in this haul just to give my initial um, thoughts on what I've received. So let's go ahead and open these up. So I have two packages. I'm going to start with this big one first. So these are... Wow, these are much bigger than I thought. These are watercolor books. So they can I can use them to paint in. And actually, these could be some awesome art journals. Way much better than what I'm using. It's just that they'll be so big. Ah. Okay. So I'm just going to lay this on top. So they have a strap elastic closure. 
it's like a oh kind of it's a fabric cover on the book they it feels light for as large as it is 64 pages watercolor let's take this off oops messing up all my other goodies how about I just slide those out of the way for now okay so has a place for you to put your information in case it's lost but as big as it is I just can't believe you would lose this <laughs> so yeah it's 64 pages of watercolor paper feels really nice it's 110 pound and this notebook is 8.3 inches by 11.7 inches um, cold press dual sided acid free natural linen bound expandable inner pocket ideal for watercolor techniques and mixed media oh yeah mixed media oh and the pocket is um, plastic oops I don't know about it I guess it would have to open this way I wouldn't put anything too important in there because if the pocket is open on this side it could easily slide out but you could also maybe put a little velcro closure on there to keep it closed I don't know if that would interfere with the with how the book lays flat just thinking out loud but um, this fabric has a pretty heavy texture to it I'm not crazy about the color but it's okay and let's see it doesn't automatically lay flat so I guess you could train it to do that yeah I think it's just because of the quality of the paper it does have a bookmark or place mark here it is so it has this ribbon bookmark and I think it's pretty nice pretty nice quality elastic so my first impression is it's really nice not crazy about the color of the cover but that's I mean if I really didn't like it I could change it um, paint it or whatever the case may be so I got two of those and I will link to these items in the description box below then I also have this box to open okay and these are gouache paints something that I have never used before okay so this is a set of 60 gouache colors I also wanted the metallic gouache I don't remember how many was in that set but they had sold out of those so this is the one that they sent box aside so these are the colors that are included Let's remove the plastic so I did a little research on gouache paints and apparently they can be have a look similar to acrylic paint or watercolor paint depending on how you use them um, like I said I've never used them before this is how they're packaged in these little trays Wow, 60 colors is a lot of paint. <laughs> so it looks like they're kind of divided by color groups. I'm getting everything in frame. Here, I'm going to have to move this out of the way for a moment to get all these in. I see me using this one a lot. <laughs> This is a lot. So all of that was in this box. So all of these are the colors that are available in this set. Wow, that is a lot. So I can't wait to dive into using these. Let's put them back. Um, 
I'm not sure if I would keep them like this because I would be worried that I wouldn't use them all because I might miss. Okay. And they can't all be stacked the same direction. So I have to flip them back and forth. The lids on one side so that they don't tumble over and fall. So I'll put the colors that I think I'll use the least on the bottom. Ooh. It's hard to decide. But anyway, I can't wait to dig into these. Let me hurry. <laughs> and see how they look. I'll try to record whatever I create with them. Um, and show that to you. This is the other angles of the box. But I really like that they have this on top. One thing I didn't check. Let's take a tube out and see. Let's take this one out. This is, they are 12 milliliters or 4.4 ounces. They do actually have the name on the tube. I like that. Um, other things that I've received from Arteza did not actually have the name on there, like the pen colors. And they didn't have a number or anything, so it was, or maybe they had a number. I don't know. But it was difficult because it didn't have a name. But now they have the names on the paints. So that's awesome. So I'll be able to keep myself in order. So can't wait to use those. And I'll probably be using them on these notebooks. So my last Etsy shop order came in, and it is from Planet Planet. I've never ordered from them before. Here's the logo, Planet Planet. And it came with this bingo card. I guess I'd have to be in the Facebook group and to play on that. And here, I've already taken everything out. Here is what I ordered. I got the watermelon. Um, I don't know the name of this one. These were all on a $2 Tuesday deal. So these were, each sheet was $2. Let's see. I don't have, yeah, I think I threw away <laughs> the packing slip already. But I'm sure you'll see these on their website. It's Planet Planet. And they are Hobonichi Week stickers. So that's it from them. And I stopped by Walmart to pick up something for my daughter. Um, and I went and checked the paper section because the copy paper or printer paper. Because the store closest to me, I was at a different store than I normally go to. And the store closest to me had no printer or copy paper at all. So this store actually had some paper. They didn't have as much as they normally do. And so I asked the sales clerk or the associate were they going to discontinue selling the Georgia Pacific brand because I really love their 28 pound um, paper. She said no that the reason they didn't have a lot of this stuff was because um, they're gearing up for back to school. So if you're shopping for stationery and office supply type goods you might want to check your Walmart because they have a ton of stuff on clearance and she said that's another part of them getting ready for back to school so just a little tip check you know the stationary office supply section because tons of clearance anyway so i've shown this before this is the card stock that i use um most of the time and it's 110 pounds 92 brightness I would like a, a higher brightness but usually I'm using this to test things and for my own personal use so and I think this is like five dollars at Walmart and then I get this pack of 28 pound paper it's only 300 sheets which is not a true ream I don't think but um I think it's that way because of the weight of the paper. It is 97 bright. 
So it's pretty white. And uh, I just love the way it prints. It prints great. It's not quite as heavy as a 32 pound, but it's not flimsy like a 20 pound paper that you can almost see through. Then last but not least, I got these on clearance. They were $2. And there's six folders in here. These are what they look like. You can see that. And I will be cutting these up using them for dividers. So I got two of them, $2 each. There's six folders. You know, in case I make a mistake, I need an extra. Um, so I got that. That's everything I got. I think that's it for this week's Wednesday's haul. If you like videos like this, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you'll receive notifications whenever I upload a new video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye!